So about a year ago, I got the original Surface laptop. I used it for a bit, liked it a lot, thought it was a really good laptop, right? The speakers and the screen in particular were standout features to me. So when Microsoft updated it, I was excited to check it out. So here's my review of the new Surface Laptop 2. So visually, the Surface Laptop hasn't changed all that much from the original one. The exterior is still made of anodized aluminum with a matte finish. This matte black color is actually new with the Surface 2 and it looks awesome. Fingerprints and oils do show up like all other matte black finishes, but I feel like it does a better job at resisting oils than Razer's laptop, so that's good. The hinge is tuned perfectly. It's a one hand open, but it doesn't feel loose or anything like that. The keyboard deck and palm rest area are covered in this Alcantara finish. It's very comfortable and seems to hold up well over time. The gray color seems to stain a little bit easier than the other colors, so if you're paranoid about that, just get the black one, it'll hide your stains a lot better. There's a tiny bit of keyboard flex and the screen has a bit more flex than I expected given how thick it is, but overall, it's a very well built laptop. The keyboard on this thing is amazing. It's very comfortable to type on, it's got good key travel, the switches feel nice. This is one of the best keyboards you'll find on a laptop. The layout is as you would expect, nothing feels out of place, there's nothing weird with the function keys. I also like their function key being a toggle, so you can easily switch between using F1, F2, F3, or having the actual function keys like brightness and volume controls. It's got four stage white LED backlighting, clean font, it's an excellent keyboard. And the Alcantara feels nice on your palm, so that's an added bonus if you type for long periods of time. It's the same trackpad as last year, I think. It's got a glass surface, tracking is accurate, gestures work great. The clicks are a little bit loud, but the clicks themselves feel good. I've seen some people complain about the size of the trackpad. For me, I don't really find myself going outside of the trackpad when dragging files or using gestures. And some people have palm rejection issues with particularly large trackpads, so I think the size here is fine as it is. The speakers are located beneath the keyboard so you won't see any speaker grills on this laptop. They get loud and they're clear. The bass response is good for an Ultrabook and I'd say these are tied in second place with the MateBook X Pro for best Ultrabook speakers. The port selection on this thing is terrible, especially for a premium Ultrabook. On the left you have a USB 3, a mini display port, a headphone jack, and on the right you have the Surface Connect port, which is also where you charge the laptop. They didn't include a USB-C port, which means no Thunderbolt 3. Now this one isn't really specific to the Surface laptop, but because of how thin and low to the table it is, some headphones, like the Sennheiser HD6XX, won't be able to fit into the headphone jack because of their bulky end, so keep that in mind. There aren't any screws on the bottom, so there's no way to get into the laptop without ripping off the Alcantara, and everything is soldered on, so there's nothing you can upgrade anyway. The model that I'm reviewing here is running the i5 8250U, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gig SSD. And it runs for about 1300 US, but there's a sale going on right now, so it starts at 900 bucks for the base model, and 1100 for this 256 gig model. Performance is good for work and media consumption, but performance in games isn't great, so you'll be able to run esports titles at 720p low, but anything more demanding than that isn't really playable. This time, they're using a much faster drive than last year, so reach speeds are fast and the write speeds no longer tank at the lower capacities. They've also bumped up the minimum spec from 4 gigs of RAM to 8 gigs, and it comes standard with Windows 10 instead of the gimped Windows 10 S. The thermals on this thing are good, I didn't see any throttling, and the top of the laptop stays cool under load, so you don't really feel any heat with the Alcantara, but the bottom panel is aluminum, so that will get hot if you throw a heavy load at the CPU. The screen they're using is a 13.5 inch 2256 by 1504 display. Colors are accurate, it's bright, viewing angles are good, and it also supports touch if you're into that. It's also standard on all of their configurations, so if you get the $900 base model, it still comes with this screen. The bezels on the side are a little bit thicker than other Ultrabooks, but the chin is significantly smaller than most other laptops, so I actually prefer this for the 3x2 aspect ratio. You do get some black bars when watching 16x9 content, but everything else just looks much better on a taller display. And the webcam up top supports Windows Hello facial recognition for faster logins. As always, if you're interested in the wallpapers, I'll have them linked in the description down below. 
They're using a 45 watt hour battery inside, which they claim will get you 14 and a half hours of movie streaming. They'll get closer to 13 and a half hours and regular use lasted about eight and a half to nine hours of battery life. So enough for a full workday. The charger they include is proprietary and it's a little bit awkward trying to plug it in since the laptop is angled inward, but it's magnetic. So I guess I'm not too bummed by it. So the big question, is the Surface Laptop 2 worth it? My biggest gripes with this thing is the upgradability. Like you can't open it up without pretty much wrecking the laptop and the ports. But if that stuff doesn't bother you, then I think it's an excellent laptop. The screen is fantastic. It's got a great keyboard, nice trackpad, speakers sound good, and it's got a full day battery. So it does a lot of things well, but the stuff that it doesn't do well, it does horribly. And I'm hoping the next refresh will give us better ports and slim down the bezels like with the Matebook. But yeah, it's a great laptop as long as you don't plug more than one thing into your laptop at a time. So that's the end of this review. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Also consider subscribing for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.